And he's just made some homemade buttermilk biscuits. Mmm. They're going in the oven. Here they go. <clears throat> well, I'm making milk gravy. So, um, it's a half a tube of sausage. And then you're supposed to um, make a roux, but I don't know how to do that. I'm not very good at it. So, I just put all the flour that it calls for in the roux into my milk. And I start that as soon as I get ready to make it. So then it just starts to thicken and you keep, you don't worry about it then. So what is this gravy roux. for? This is for our biscuits. I usually make a pot as big as the world, but it's only Dougie and I, so I'm trying to cut back on my portion sizes. Looks good. And um, yeah, it's going to be really good. Is this a hard thing to make? Well, you have to realize that I grew up on a farm, so we had biscuits and gravy. We had biscuits and gravy. So this okay. is my recipe. It has many different renditions of wait a minute hold it still don't use this use that Here's don't the do recipe, this guys. do that dissolve the flour in milk first should Here's take 15 minutes notes. or so yes so <laughs> it's been many many uses of this uh, recipe. cool very so, cool we're looking forward to biscuits and gravy tonight cool come on over well, you have to see the biscuits first to see if we're gonna, if you want to come over. So Sandy's biscuits just came out of the oven. No calories spared. <laughs> Don't they look good? Wow. I didn't get a real good um, brown on them because I left them when I, I turned the broiler on for mm, a few minutes. Those look really good. But I guarantee they're good. Guarantee it, huh? Yeah. Here we go. Now food. Wow. Those look one to go with these fresh hot biscuits. We have A3 honey. Rich, this is for you, bud. A3 Sky Warrior. We're going to pour some of this honey on one of these biscuits here. And I am sure it's going to be outstanding. Okay, so she's dressing it up with a little butter. No, you sample it. No, you go ahead. Well, I won't. I won't be hungry if I eat this. Home Zoo and prospecting suggested that I not put Rich's honey on the shelf and keep it as a souvenir but to make some biscuits and put butter on them and use Rich's honey. So that's what we're doing right here. Sandy is going to sample it. And then you're going to. And then we'll send one to Rich. <laughs> it may be old by the time it gets there. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. This is so cool. Thank you, Rich, for that. That's so awesome. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Good, huh? Nice. You have to buy a barrel. A barrel. <laughs> Better get busy. Better get those bees going, Rich. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to test it out here. Oh, wow, that honey's excellent. Really, really good, Rich. Wow. Outstanding. Mmm. Excellent. Mmm. Good job, bees. <laughs> Good job, Rich. Okay, so here's one biscuit with gravy on it, and there's her other half with uh, A3 Sky Warriors honey. Not yet. No. Now. Oh. 
going to use this only for special occasions, Rich. <laughs> Lots, just biscuits and gravy every night for a week. Right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It's awesome.